everyone, this is Hannah and welcome to another tutorial of Telenium Marketing and today I'm going to share with you how can easily create a confetti effect in Adobe Illustrator. Very simple, very easy technique that you can easily apply just in three minutes and you will, your uh, document will be ready with a beautiful design. So there is, uh, there is a way that uh, you can easily do this. So let's start now. I'm going to create these type of effects. So for to create the similar one, what I'm going to do, I will create a new doc. I've already created a new document here. Now I'm going to just share with you the technique how can you create a brush that will develop these type of uh, uh, confetti effects so first of all what i'm going to do i'm taking this ellipse tool from here and dragging a simple ellipse like this just of uh, i'm creating ellipse of different sizes so just like this here in a circular format i'm creating these type of ellipse and uh, smaller bigger medium size whatever you want to do so i have i've created the, uh, the uh, different sizes of ellipse here and now what i'm going to do i will simply remove this uh, stroke color from here and giving it a simple color like a yellow one or the mustard color whatever you call it and here i'm changing the color from here to just to provide a different look and I'm choosing the random one so here you can see that so these are the color uh, code that I've used and now I'm going to change it like this so these are the multiple color option over here now I'm grabbing all the layers together here and pressing F5 from the keyboard otherwise you can go over here window and you can choose the brushes option from here okay so now what i'm going to do i will simply create a new brush and uh, i will select the scatter brush option press ok and uh, here you can see there are some settings area over here so i will go uh, to colorization here, here i will use the trends and shares and press ok now what i'm going to do i will simply delete this layer from here because it's been added into this scatter brush library and now I'm going to create a bigger ellipse here, just like this, and simply removing this fill color from here, like this. And now I'm going to click on this uh, scatter push option. So you can see there is a confetti already created just by clicking uh, the scatter brush option. Now what I'm going to do, I will do some settings here. So to apply these settings, uh, I want to show you how it would be looking like so I'm clicking on a side and I will open this setting window here so it will be quite easy for you to look around and now what I'm going to do is I'll increase and decrease the size so you can see that how the confetti is uh, coming together and going far away uh, when I'm decreasing increasing the size so you can see that it's nearest to each other and uh, now when I'm de reducing the size so you can see that how it's going far away so th these are the simple techniques that will be related to the size in the same way I will you can also uh, play with the uh, is spacing so if you want to increase and decrease this value so of spacing so you can see how the design is forming here so and this is the way and the same way you can also play with the scattering and um, scattering basically moves the object in the y direction uh, vertical direction so you can see that how it's going like this now uh, there is also an option of the rotation if you are working with a different uh, shapes then you can also move the rotation or move the um, style of a uh, scattering if you want to do the do that so uh, i will go with these settings now and press ok here so you can see that how it's looking like now and now what i'm going to do if i will increase and decrease the value here so you can see that it's looking like this another thing that i want to show you that uh, so for example if you want to change the color option from here so you can see that how it's looking like if i'm changing the color so these are the different combinations here if you are just uh, switching the colors uh, from here and uh, 
now i'm going to show you if i will press the default gradient then it will jump back to uh, the color option the md that we have created when we were uh, creating the brush options so you can see that these are the different ways to create uh, confetti effects so if i will choose this one here now what i'm going to do i will just to create a simple effect here so i will just create this one and now i'm changing the uh, fill color to the same one that can resemble to this design and here i'm simply keeping it in the middle just like this here i will go into the object here uh, the offset part and uh, now i'm choosing the offset around 10 pixels preview it and press ok and uh, here i want to just remove the fill color from here and increasing the stroke size to around four points so it's you can see that there is a thick uh, outline uh, around the uh, inner circle and uh, now what I'm going to do I will create just right in here confetti effects so like this and uh, here I'm increasing the size and uh, changing the font to T and uh, here I'm just uh, placing it in the middle and decreasing the size here and placing it here like this so if you want you can make it more smaller so this is very simple and easy technique by using that you can create different type of confetti effects in your creators so thank you so much for watching if you like my uh, tutorial then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel have a very good day bye bye